Good afternoon and welcome to Calvin TV News and Views. I'd like to say a special hi to all the folk all over the world who log on and watch us on Calvin TV. Today I'm bringing you a little special Christmas from the Christmas markets here in Calvin Town. Come with me on the journey. in Town Hall Street which is pedestrianised for today and we're heading on to the heart of the fest of the of the of the Christmas festival and as you can hear uh, music in the background live music all sorts of stalls around food stalls drink stalls all kinds of stalls and of course Santa's cave is up there for the children so we're going to go to the main market over here which has a lot of artists and kind of stuff let's go simple word life is art paint your dreams that's it my simple philosophy brilliant look at this fabulous art I let come on Dali Facebook Calvin TV hello what's this horseshoes yes tell me, tell me all about this Hi, so um, I upcycle horseshoes and give them a new lease of life. Uh, Where do you get them? So um, a lot of farriers actually have lots of horseshoes lying around, so uh, they're only delighted to give them to give them a new home. And uh, we try and come up with loads of different create, creative ideas with them. 
uh, people really like the, the reindeers and the phone holders as well is very popular. Oh yeah, okay. the reindeers, where's the reindeer? The reindeer here. Oh, the reindeer. So are you, are you a cabin man? Yeah, so I'm only from Bombay there, only down the road, so oh, right. a very creative part of the country. <laughs> very good. And what's the name of you? What do you call you? So uh, I, my name is Connor Bannon and uh, my company is called Bannon Bespoke Creations. to Cavan TV News and Views. So tell us about Studio 8. Um, yeah, I'm based in Belturbet and I create all dried flower um, little posy jars and wreaths and interior decor pieces. Um, and obviously the Cavan tote bags are very popular here with the, the Cavan, Paris, Milan, Cavan and uh, New York. So you can be gone where? Phase 8? On um, I have a website, studio8.ie, and I'm on Facebook and Instagram at studio8.ie. So you've got all these fabulous little gifts. Yeah, all the Christmas decorations as well. And we have fresh um, and dried flower front door wreaths and the cavern decorations as well. And you're doing well today? Very well. It's a great market. It's a great I've market. Done, I've done this market from the very first one when we were in Ballyconnell. And it's grown now to this now in Cavan. It's brilliant. Yeah, really good. Well, good luck. Thanks, Penny. Okay, so now I'm with the Cavan photographer, Hugh O'Reilly. Yeah, Hugh O'Reilly, and uh, of course Hugh is a wonderful photographer, but you have it in books, in a book now. Tell us about your book. Yes, I photographed uh, 365 lakes in Cavan um, during, during lockdown really. It took me a year and a half, and last October I published a book, uh, Lakes of Cavan, uh, one for every day of the year. So, yeah. Here it is, Loch Gowan on the front and uh, photographs of lots of different lakes. Oh, I go kayaking there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Waters Bridge. That's my niece and two nephews at Killikeen. So all the different lakes, some photographed from the ground, some from uh, the air. That's uh, Loch Rammer. Yeah. And then at the end of the book, there's the 365 lakes uh, index. index so we really do have 365 lakes in Cal. Yes, I, I can What is your book retailer? It's, uh, today it's 25 euros special offer because of the craft fair. It's normally 29.95 in the shops. Very good. So folks, a very nice present to give to somebody who's not living in Cavan, from Cavan who's not living in Cavan at the moment. There you Lovely. go. The 30, 365 lakes of Cavan. Well done, Hugh. Thank you, Anya. Thank you. Thank you. Your, what are you selling today? So today we have a hot apple and cranberry cider. We're non-alcoholics because everybody deserves to have a little bit of fun. Um, and like we're doing... <laughs> we can. And it, it's very similar to a mulled wine, but uh, again, non-alcoholic. So. And it's just a bit chilly this evening. It should go down well. It is going down well. It's going down very well today. <laughs> and you're from Cavan? I'm from Belturbet, yes. yes. And there's a lot of Belturbet people here today, I notice. Oh, with their, with their wares, yeah. with, the, with their wares. Yeah. Well, well done, well yeah. done, thanks. Thank you very much. Well, I've caught up with the organiser of the Christmas market, and that's Imelda Mullen, all the way from Ballyconnell, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, you're taking your magic to Calvin now. Thank and you. this is the second year or the third year? This is the second, second Christmas market we've run. We, yeah. we run seasonal markets. So this is effectively our winter market, and which happens to be in December. Yeah, and uh, you, in Calvin. So yeah. this year it, it's bigger and better than before. Absolutely. You've got the artisan tent there with, with the people with their wares in all there. The and you've got yeah. the music on the beat yeah. on the street yeah. and all the little tents with their little food. It's really, it's very, it, it's in one small street. It's complex, but it's very well done. Absolutely. And we really try and focus on 
it's it's a representation of what's in Cavan. Yes. So you know we don't parachute producers in from other counties as such. Still so the yeah, some border counties will be here as well. But um, it's it's just a really great representation of the skill and talent in Cavan. Yeah. Why did Cavan like? I would consider this a little bit early. Maybe not for Christmas markets. Well, it does a lot of logistics. So a road closure. You know you can't just pick. Yeah. You can't bring it to your Christmas. Well, it's, 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 it's just, yeah, it's one of those things that you have to, you have to work with a few organisations and this is the weekend that suits Okay, well, yeah. well done. Yeah. It's buzzing this you. evening. Yeah. And we have uh, the blue tax playing there. And I think oh, we're okay. going to close. You're going to close with the rugby club choir. We have a rugby choir, uh, club choir. Absolutely, six to seven, they're going to close out. That's great. Yeah. And we brought in something lovely this year, I felt. Um, sometimes you feel that things to do in Cavan isn't that well represented in market. So we have a big spin the wheel and all lovely, like with festivals in Cavan, the walking tours, nature, you can win prizes like that. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Thanks for talking to us in Cavan TV and News News. I'd just like to say hi once again to all the folk all over the world who log on and watch us in Cavan TV. So they're delighted to see a taste of Cavan Christmas markets here in Cavan all over the world. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Okay. Joe, Hiya. Joe, I'm glad you have your hat on because it's getting yeah, chilly now. You see, look, you need a big yeah, hat on as well. We have the heat on here, yeah. so we're doing okay. So, Joe, right bang on in the middle of the Calvin Market, and the town hall is open. What's going on? Well, we have an exhibition here. Well, it's a shop, really. It's a art shop, and we have the work of about 30 artists. So there's about 150 pieces here, and they range from nearly eight or nine hundred euros down to. 250 for a card. Okay. So, yeah. so just tell me a little bit about the artists. Are they local? Mm, yeah, uh, they're all mainly local. Yeah, mainly cavern based. Uh, yeah, there might be one or two not, but mainly cavern based. Like it, we put a call out through the arts office for artists to yeah. apply, and so it's amazing uh, so range of work. Walk in off the street. Walk in off the street. Take I'll your uh, wallet out and buy whatever you I want. Don't. Yeah, okay. yeah. But there's uh, such a range of work, like it's great yeah, we'll and get, we'll get, yeah, we'll yeah, good stuff. You, you but the, get back to talking about the Christmas market, it's buzzing out there. It's buzzing. And like the music's great, yeah, um, there's lots to eat. Yeah, there's the fantastic. cottage market yeah. people are incredible, yeah. like they've, they've really created this, the yeah, years. created this atmosphere, like, and over the years they keep building it up, like, and it's wonderful. We're very lucky here. There's no need for folks to go to Vienna, Austria, Absolutely Poland. Not. They're coming to us, look at Paris, Milan. Christmas markets anymore we have our own in town hall street Calvin's not right yeah, Joe we sure do. We sure <laughs> with do. the town hall in the in the center of it all well done Joe yeah, we'll have a look thanks around. Million. have a good Thank look you. around yeah and here I am with Calvin's Artist. Wonderful artist, Jackie. How are you, Jackie? I'm good, thank Jackie you. Jackie O'Neill, tell all the folk out there that, that, that do know her. Jackie, you're going from strength to strength. You have a fabulous studio going downtown. Yes, I do. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's great. It's just grown legs, the whole thing. I think people like the local folklore, and sure, people just love to support local. I have a new exhibition launching next uh, Saturday, the 10th of December, in my gallery, and uh, it's all about Irish birds and Irish folklore. It's on the corner of Bridge Street and Main Street, up above Hallmark Cards, the yellow building. Yeah. So you're there and bro, call up and see Jackie's. Yeah, absolutely, everyone you know I really enjoy seeing your work. It's when I'm walking down in Bell Turban and I go in around the bridge and everything and I see your work there. Yeah, that was and a little stories behind it. That was a commission I was very lucky to get a few years ago before the lockdown and we launched it during the lockdown and it was perfect because when people couldn't go into art galleries, they could walk there and it remains there and I'm very proud of it um, and it's all about the history of the landscape and I, I interviewed a lot of local people about that work and, and um, so it's a really special project and probably the biggest project I've ever done and the most research intensive yeah so you want to see that go down to Bell Turbot what's the name of that walk is it called it's it? called the Turbot Island Dreamscape Art Trail so there you go the Turbot Island Dreamscape 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 Art Trail it's fantastic really well worth seeing I must say it's Time as well, it's standing the test of time. Yeah, yeah, it's standing the weather. 
Yeah, well, I can't take credit for that. The people that made the signs, Mel signs, they looked after all that and made it um, made it last and weather resistant and all. So it's brilliant. It's accessible to everybody and it's very casual in a, in a beautiful setting. There's no nicer setting than nature, you know. Absolutely. Uh, today is great, isn't it? Isn't the Christmas market wonderful? It's great to see. And I was talking to Imelda there further on, earlier on, I should say, and uh, she was saying that most people here are all cabin, mostly cabin. It's great. And with their exhibitions and everything, it's great. To see. It's just a great to showcase my work to people that wouldn't have known about my gallery, and, and I'm meeting all sorts of people from all over the county, and it's just a great atmosphere, and it's great that we we can do this again. Because we forget that last year we weren't even able to, you know. So I think there's a really a, a vibe that we've come out of something really tough and, and, and life goes on, you know. Everything's bigger and better now. We appreciate things more as well. You know, getting out and about and music, being out and families and everything. We appreciate everything more. Yeah. I think COVID taught us a lesson. I think during COVID people became really aware of supporting small businesses and supporting local. And that's one thing we haven't lost since it's opened up. So I'm... Um, yeah, no, it's really, I'm just really grateful for the local support and it's just lovely to be a part of it all, yeah. And sometimes I go into, go into shops, go into the Derry Gara Inn and you see Jackie O'Neill's art all over the place. Not right, <laughs> Jackie. Well, I'm doing very well locally, yeah, yeah, and some local, I moved home from London 10 years ago and the local support has been amazing and to have it in those places is where people see it. So it's all been very organic, one one day leads to another, one person sees it in another's house and and, and, and it's been wonderful, really, so... Well, continued success, Jackie, and well done. We're very proud of you and Cabin. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, folks, that's it. Just a little taste of the Cabin Christmas Market. And a fabulous day yesterday and today. Everybody really enjoying themselves now. Now, it's going to end with uh, a couple of numbers from the Rugby Club Male Voice Choir. Good evening, and take care from all of us in Cabin TV. Hope you're lovely and cold out there. We'll warm you up with a few songs, all right? We're going to start off with the fourth one. This one's entitled Blueberry Hill. Thank you.